Hello everyone, welcome back to the Baldur's Gate Trilogy Let's Play featuring Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition Part number 21. Holy crap, I've been at this a while. Uh, but yes, right now we're exploring more and more of the city. Thought I'd kick things off with a bit of an exciting encounter. Let's go upstairs of Sorcerer's Sentries, which is of course one of probably the best magic item shop in the game. Definitely a place to come to if you're looking for some handy dandy wizard spells. But in the meantime, we have some people up here. Try to keep up. Nemain, he says, Oh look, what a cute little party invading our space. We are preparing a ritual and you've all but ruined it. <laughs> preparing what? Uh, what do you mean your space? This is a store and I'm a customer. Thank you for that wonderful display of city logic. Now scram. <laughs> this is pretty good. For your information, a number of important sociological and psychological theorists have posited that stores exist in an intermediate space, neither private nor public in nature, but combining elements of both. Displays in store windows, for instance, can best be viewed as mental constructs projected onto the public constant means of... Oh my god, we are like going all Freudian on his ass. Ah! It's enough to drive one mad. Make it stop! Make it stop! Okay, so, before we go to fighting real quick, I just want to point out, these ex these guys are actually uh, part of the Zinterim, uh The Zinterim Crime Syndicate, and I don't know if they're actually Cowled Wizards or not. If I were to have brought Monteron and Zara here, either or, or both, they would actually not attack and instead just inform us, hey, it's the Iron Throne that's doing all this crap, and just kind of direct us there. I don't know if they would leave, but... And there was actually another encounter. I didn't put it on screen just because I couldn't remember for the life of me yeah. where it was. And it doesn't really amount to much, but there's like a group of red wizards out in the wild somewhere... If you don't have Edwin in your party, they'll attack you. But if you do have Edwin in your party, they'll just update him about something and that's it. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting how they do it in a way. Yes. Um, but, yeah, with all that blah, blah, do blah done, want? let's fight! Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, okay, now let's... Yeah. Night Singer, give me power. I'm wondering if I should cast something. Oh, what am I saying? Of course I should. Okay. Um Again you disturb me. God, I don't know. Let's just Hey, you know what? We got it. Let's try fireball. Woohoo! We finally have fireball. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, and there's like Did we interrupt him by the way? Uh it doesn't say we did, so What are you working on? That's fine. Um. Hmm. I'm tempted to use a wand of fireball, but I don't think I will. Uh, yeah. And of course, we're all scared. <laughs> Unfortunately for you guys, this guy's immune to fear, which is good because I keep freaking forgetting to cast no fear. <laughs> Not a big deal. We're all right. Okay, well, um... God dang. Oh, wait, that's right! She's immune to fear, too! Because she's... She's... She's, uh... She's also immune to fear because she got the wrong <laughs> kit! That's right! Woohoo! Yeah, well... Again, it's not a big deal, but I just have to... I have to learn to... Actually, hang on a second. Okay. So I learned to spell magic. Well, actually, wait, no. Remove fear should dispel fear, shouldn't it? I mean, provided I can actually hit these guys while they're, you know, running around like idiots. There we go. That's it. Speak yeah, that's gone. much more helpful than dispel bomb. Dispel magic can actually mm. um, get rid of a host of effects, but you kind of have to, you know, win some contested rolls, which can be a bit of a pain. So, oh wow, look at this spider spawn! Yes, 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 yes. This is such a good spell. <laughs> Oh man, I'm all about this place. I, I forgot how. What's up? If you say so. I forgot how useful these guys are. Okay, so I'm gonna take a minute or two to loot these guys, and then I'll show you guys what I got later. Okay, so it looks like I got everything taken care of. And before I forget, 
I'll have to sell this when I go back downstairs. But I actually did get that one shield that I got from that quest where you had to resurrect that kid. Uh, shield of the Fallen Stars? It doesn't really offer any more benefits, uh, defensive benefits than what my plus one shield already has. But it does give a lot of missile defense, which I think when stacked with that... Yeah, yeah, uh, that one skill I have, the uh, two-handed weapon style, or no, no, the sword and shield style, it's actually pretty darn handy. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, anyway, spider spawn, and this, yes, definitely this one, which is very nice. Um, I got another major world of resistance, which I don't need. I got another wand of fire, which I absolutely want. And I got a cursed ring, which is, you know, I might wear if I ever turn into an idiot someday. <laughs> ah, shit. Anyway. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, I don't know why I'm worried about all these arrows. Ugh. I'm getting to wonder if that was a good mod to put in. Space, it, and it shall be even bloodier than you hoped. It feels kind of pointless to get these arrows back, especially since there's only, like, one. I only put 25% chance at the most because I didn't want to, you know, it shall be even bloodier than you hope. have my inventory get flooded with that stuff, but, um, no, no, anyway, I think I'll just go ahead and scoop up the rest of these items and just sell everything. Huh, what's a Baldur's Gate game without some shopkeeping, huh? Woohoo! How exciting. All right. I'll go ahead and get this it taken care of off screen, and I will you see you guys hope. back outside the store. Okay, so I finished off all that shopping and selling and all that stuff. <clears throat> I might hang on to these. Why not? I'll let the... Actually... Well, you know what? Screw it. I'll let you have them. Um, what else? Okay, so... Actually, who else can use a wand of fire? Just out of curiosity. Uh, okay, just you. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> More people using it? The merrier. Alright, well, tell you what. Let the wizard hang on to it. So, okay. Okay, so with that taken care of, I think it's actually getting pretty close to nighttime in the game. Actually, I think it's already nighttime. Sweet. So, let's talk to Archeon and Nemfrey real quick. I will listen for now, now, unfortunately, the game doesn't really tell you where they are because, you know, hand holding is bad or something. I don't hope. know. <laughs> I'm not saying hold my hand, I'm just saying, you know, let me use a map. Nothing not immersive about that, but anyway. So we, oh, oh right, it's locked. Yes. Of course it's locked, he's a necromancer. Luck, be a lady. Ding dong, let me in. Alright. <laughs> now, a note about this, by the way. A lot, there are, of course, t tons of houses that don't have, you know, and you can just go in there... And loot them if you like. I don't really like doing that just because I feel like it's a giant waste of time. And half the time there's not that much uh, interesting stuff in there anyway. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. It's just, I don't know. It just feels like overkill if you ask me. Okay, here he is. Ah, yeah. hello. Yep. I'm going to talk to you with this guy. Yeah, mate. Go away. I have no need for good folk like yourselves. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> My reputation's too high. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> well, that I, I'll be honest. I've never had that problem happen to me before. <laughs> uh, I wonder how low it has to be. Mm. Ah, shoot. Um. Well, I tell you what. Let me. I'm actually supposed to get a couple items from these two guys. You are so. I'm a little worried that not what successfully stealing them kind of screwed up, but let's see if we can. Eh, of course we can. Okay. Well, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to waste my time trying to figure out, oh, I should open, I should lower my reputation. I'm not going to do that. Screw it. Life is great peril yields great beauty. What do you want? I'm, not, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just not going to do it, okay? I mean, the only thing he really has to offer is a quest to get him a dead body. Killing him yielded me only slightly less experience than that, so we're just gonna go ahead and take this. There you go. Okay. Speak and be gone. It shall be even bloodier. And then let's you see. Hope. I don't know where Nymphrey's house is. I think it's close to here. I think. I don't know. 
Okay, here we go. Um, hum dum diddly dee. Uh, it's not this one. Why can't we go in this house? Must have been. I don't know if they even tried to put anything in it, but it doesn't matter. Um. Yes. All right. Wherever open up, open up. Let me out. in. Oh, oh, hello. Huh. I, will I hope this is my house. Oh, yes, it is. A sexy lady beckons. It. Oh. Yeah. Remove yours, huh? Uh, uh -huh. hi there, beautiful. Yeah. Can you tell sure. me about yourself? Hmm, you're a sweet one. Could you do a favor for Nefrae? An old lover of mine has followed me here to the city. Has been threatening me with some very dark magic. An old lover, huh? <laughs> I wonder what happened there. His name is Archeon, and if you could get a certain name of his me, perhaps there are a few things I could do for you, don't you think? Hmm? <clears throat> well... I would like to think there are a few things you could do for me as well, but I don't think the game has that kind of an adult rating, so I would disagree. Ha, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway. Hey. Hey, you. Hello. You're a sweet uh, fool, but a fool nonetheless. Here, take this scroll and go. I have no further need of you. What do we get? We got... Are you serious? That's it? You me this piece of shit Oh my god. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> Bitch, you gon' die. Great Give me your shit. Great beauty. Has no items up against stone by a cup Oh, wow. Really? I can't steal the em em up back? Yeah, okay, you know what? Fine. I'll just kill you then. <laughs> and it's perfectly fine, because she's evil. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up? I would not get away with this in a TTRPG. Right. I'm just certain of it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's the onyx ring, the amulet, and some rope that we probably don't need, but I'm... Ordered. I'm probably going right. to take anyway because, see, well, no. you know. Let's see. Oh, wow. Hey, you're smart enough to know that. Uh, yeah. Cool. Actually, now I think about it. You don't have the knaves robe on, do you? You know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna put that on you. There we go. I haven't, I haven't given this guy a robe at all. I feel like an idiot. Ah! Okay. Speak. Try to keep up. Okay. So that's that quest deal dealt with. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. I still have the items. Well, I had to kill him, and I'm kind of worried that might mm. screw up the quest. But I think, I think if I remember correctly, the guy who gave us this quest just wanted us to. Like, deal with their, you know, constant feuding. I don't know if <laughs> killing was a valid excuse, but you know what? He gave me the quest. Let me see if I get something out of it. I don't know. Mm. Alright. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your stuff. Ah, the blood still even more gone and Netflix on screen. I hope no blood was shed to get these for the users. I mean, conscience. Fools are to be suffered in this world, not slaughtered. Oh, crap. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, be what may, at least they may find some peace. As for these trinkets, you might as well sell them somewhere as they are of little use to anyone. For your troubles, I will give you this cloak. It may be someone use in your future. Where am I supposed to put that ah, exactly? We doubled. And he dropped his item. Okay. What cloak is this anyway? Oh, it's the Whispers of Silence. Wow, great. Another piece of shit. I'll sell it. Thanks, dude. Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> and he just tells us to sell them. It's like, what the hell did I do this for? God, what a lame-ass yeah. ending. Uh, anyway. Oh, wow. 175. I feel so rich. Vampiric Touch. No, thank you. I don't have any mage fighters. Or at least Kali just dead, so... Yeah, it's like, why don't you keep it for Siege of Dragon Spear? I don't... No, I'm not going to do that, okay? Let's see. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, the pr see, the problem with um, Whispers of Silence is, is, at least in this game, they really don't try to dispel any invisibility or whatever you're under all that much at all. It becomes more of a thing in the sequel, but right now it's just, you know... It's, it's just a thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, oh, yes, the shield. We need to get rid of this. Yes. How much? A uh, thousand bucks? Uh, that's all right. I'll take it. Like I said, we get a lot of money at this point. Also, a certain beautiful elven lady leveled, so we should help her out. Da, 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 da. Nice. Mm. 
Also, I gave her the book. So, she has 19 wisdom. <laughs> nice. All right. Cool, cool. Um, oh, and what's, let's see, what spells does she have at level four? Let's see. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I mean, her, what, see, the game basically tells you how many spell slots you get uh, just by leveling up. It doesn't account for any bonus spell slots that clerics and druids get, which, you know, doesn't bother me at all. But, oh my god, look at these spells. Oh, look at some of these new ones that we got. Thanks to mod. Uh, unfailing endurance restores. For, uh, yeah, that's something we can sleep on. Uh, let's see what else is there. Mental domination. When cast upon subject, is a saving throw versus ball with any give two penalty in order to avoid the priest of his mind. Uh, pretty much similar to those of which are spelled domination, which makes me wonder what the name change was for. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Okay, yeah. It, it's just a cleric's don't. It's lame. Okay. Grasping Shadows. This is new. This spell conjures forth shadowy tendrils from the ground that grasp claw and pierce the flesh of any creature caught within the area of effect. Creatures affected to suffer 1d4 piercing damage and 1d4 cold damage per round, increasing by one point each for every three rounds of the caster up to a maximum of 1d4 plus 2. <laughs> affected creatures must roll a save versus paralyzed at negative 4 or be paralyzed for one and a half round. Oh my lord. Holy, this is... Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Priest of good alignment cannot cast it, but undead creatures are immune. Um, oh my god, this is, oh, this is so good. Look at this stuff. <laughs> Gibberlings 3 is awesome. Okay, we're going to get Defensive Harmony because it's freaking amazing. Well, okay, it's better than Icewind Dale, but that doesn't matter. Grasping Shadows might be useful. I, we're not going to be facing that many. And then finally, Cloud of Pestilence. A 12-foot radius of air turns into sickening grayish mists. Ooh, China. The cats and the big creatures are immune to the effects of the cloud. Oh, just the caster? Okay, fine, whatever. For every round of exposure to disease with an air, creature must be able to over three points of magic damage, blindness, and the loss of three points of strength dexterity. Holy shit. Dude! That's awesome. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, well, okay, actually... Maybe not that one. Well, we need to take at least one healing spell per level. It's just, it's, it's the law, okay? I will try to keep up. Oh, Cleric's got to heal somehow. <laughs> okay, so with that, <coughs> I'm dying. Uh, with that taken care of, I think the next one we're going to go ahead and do is Narland's Heist. Since we're actually pretty close to a place known as the, whatever the hell it was called. Hmm. The Splurging Sturgeon. I'll see you guys there. Okay, looks like we made it. We're close to Splurging Sturgeon anyway. <clears throat> now, for this quest, we are not allowed to have our party members nearby, so I will go in alone. Hope the game thing works properly, and let's see if we find the right NPC. Oh, there he is. Hooray! Okay. Here's Red Edge and Narlin. Dark walk. Wow, that's a cringy name if I ever heard one. He doesn't even act like an S sword, so I'm just curious to see what was in here. Oh, a friend, uh, friend spell. Ugh. Really? I mean, six charisma is nice. I am kind of wondering if I could get a bigger discount, but honestly, I'm not worried about it. I mean, 20, 20 charisma is already more than high enough. So, <clears throat> I don't even have a nymph cloak, so. Okay. Wipe the Duchess Nickers once, if you know what I mean. Hey, please, wise, get your group gone. Dude, what the fuck? I di oh, for Are you serious? They're like way up here! Be What's your fucking problem? Even here, you they're inside a building. Uh -huh. Are you happy? I swear to God, if he says they need to be out of my party, I will be pissed. Yeah. Wow. Well, really? Okay. This. You know, it's funny. I don't remember having this problem before. I'm. I'm genuinely confused. Okay, give me a minute. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so I finally did look it up. Um, the only thing it really tells me is to have a lone thief do it. And it just occurred to me, my character's not a thief. He's a bard. So, let me see.
And honestly, that would make sense. I didn't even think about that. Whoops. <clears throat> That's it, though. I would have... I still don't know if this is going to work or not. I just... I don't know. It's kind of infuriating, I'll be honest with you, because I like these quests. These are these are kind of fun. So... Here we go. Okay. So you do have to be a thief. It just... It didn't make any sense the way you put it. I'm just like... I'm a rogue. I can pick buck. <laughs> Whatever. Now we're up to the business. Keep to the shadows, and the watch will be blind to our sneak. You will spy the road while Red Edge, Red Edge and I plunder within. Be on your cautions and yell the warnings if you see the soldier man. I'd not find him if I was you. Just call the call and make for the dark. If they give chase, you fade to black and keep quiet. Never <laughs> know the guard. Never know a guard to spot a thief scared to hiding. Stand from here while we have to turn off. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, so just, you know. And of course, you'll walk with them automatically. Okay. And then, of course, we'll just hang out here. This is a house you cannot enter anyway. Hum dum diddly dee. Oh, things are going pretty smoothly. I don't think we. Uh oh. Ooh. It's awful late to be on the box, isn't it? Why are you not at rest? Uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey, yeah, boys, jigs up. Make for the dark. What? Stay underground, you thief. Two arms, arms. I hope this... Okay. Do not fight him as... Uh, okay. Hey. Speak and be gone. Choice now if you like it. Yes. Quick! I run away! It shall be run away! Alright. Um... Don't worry, he won't follow us. And... <clears throat> Alright. Let's see... Enticed. Okay. So, there we go. Okay, so now we'll go back to Thieves Guild. And pause the game, but no, I didn't. Okay. It's actually, yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Just, you know, wait. When the Fisting Flamer comes along, cry uncle, and off we go. Try to All right. Keep up. Here he is. Narlin. Hopefully, I didn't screw this up. If we do, he All won't right. help us anymore. Okay, whatever. Here, yeah, there. Good fortune you return to us. Quite the scramble down from the alleys with no less than ten and four guards on our run in hides. What is with this guy's talking? He makes Yoda sound easy to understand. Uh, good call. That alarm of yours would have been caught. Would have caught us in a known wise without you. Had enough time to belt the room with gold in our pockets, so we 300 gold to divvy. Not too bad, but a mere pittance stacked alongside the door. you know this again? Let's see. <laughs> Signing work like none other. I'm raring it for another grass, but careless gold. Yeah. Tis so for me and Red Edge. The mark tonight is a ripe plum for plucking and a mile more, might more dangerous. No petty gold, because you passed that intro. This dark. Holds a jewel fence with pretty spots stolen from Waterdeep. A mage of meager power called for a component gem called a rogue stone, and Gantolandan answered. His home be our target, but he be a side more cagey than the last. We join at dusk by the blade and stars to sort the deed. Guys, I'm serious. They're so fucking hard to understand. <laughs> Damn. It shall be even bloodier than you. It's hope. like I'm watching a video by Fawful's minion, except I'm not enjoying mm. it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay. Well, let's see if we can find the Blade and Stars Inn. I will meet you guys there. Okay, we finally found it. Ah, I have to remind myself. It's southeast, southeast, southeast. Gosh dang it. One thing about it, the cool thing about this uh, Baldur's Gate is that after you've discovered all the areas, um, you know, it's just a matter of just clicking on the one you want to go to and you're there just like that. It doesn't even take any time. So I imagine we have to Go without the party again, I think. Hello. Swipe the Duchess Nickers once. This, you know what I mean. Let's see. This dark will see how on the inside. Red Edge will I spy the alley while ye and I are searching and keep. Follow onto the door, I'll be the picker. Once we're inside, we've got the gems that we make for the guild. You won't be seeing much of me, I'll be keeping the shadows. I most certainly hope so. And uh anyway. So let's see here. Um so we have to 
get to Landan's house. Yeah, of course. Whoosh! Okay, so he opens the door. Let's just make this a little bit more fun. I'm just gonna have my character be a lady. Okay. Zzz, okay. Whoa, who's there? Meow. Oh, that's a cat. Hmm, snort. Okay. Now, we have to be really, really quick with this, just so you know. Great peril oh, fucking hell. Okay, trying to open it. Cool. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't. I did not just trigger a trap, did I? <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Is he all right? He's fine. <laughs> not that big a deal. But yeah, this is the rogue stone, and we're actually going to hang on to this. Um... In any other capacity, you could sell it for a ton of money, but I read on the guide that this and, in fact, a speed gem, which I also have one of, are pretty important later, so I will make sure to hang on to those for now. Okay. Now, <laughs> had you not the movement speed that I modded in, it's a pretty good chance he'd say a uh, second, uh, second thing, and then you'd have to, like, distract him again. I think it's... If you take too long and he gets to, like, saying a third thing, that's Wherever when it's like, oh, shit, get out. So, anyway. Great Slam the door, and let's go home. Try to keep up. I'll see you back at the guild. Okay, here we are at the guild. Warriors. Hopefully I did this right. Yep. Dingle, dingle, dingle. Swipe the Duchess knickers once, if you know what I mean. Well, snuck by any measure, Gantalan Dan wakes this morn none the wiser, except it's not morning yet, but more the poorer. All the guild will hear this, and you be welcome to this brethren. Here you be your reward. You've earned it, and tonight we'll see, suck the monkey a keg apiece, tavern-wise. And there we go. We're pretty much done. Ah, uh, yada 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 yada. Hooray. So we got some pearls, and this plain-looking ring, which I think is... I can't, okay. The Ring of Shadows! Yippee! This is actually a really good one. Uh... Give it to you, because I can't hide for the crap. Alright, there you go. Let's say I never did, any, never, never did anything for you. Okay, so, now, for now... There is another guy here. And, let's see, what is your hide and shadow stat anyway? <laughs> hide and shadows is 63. Hmm, that's actually not bad. Um... Now, the funny thing is, if I remember correctly, I think move silently and hide in shadows both contribute to a uh, stealth factor, so... But that's not important. What's important is that there's another quest we can do. And this one definitely requires a great deal of scrutiny. Because you have to get a hold of some items from someone. Just bear in mind that it is one of those time-limited quests, and if it's offered to you... You don't want to refuse, or else the Thieves Guild will hate you forever. So, I think it's... Uh, I think it's Ravenshka, so... Um, I don't know. I might actually wait on that one. Just, you know, until I'm absolutely for certain that I can get through... Yeah, this is this is one I actually forgot to do, so... So, I tell you what. In the meantime, since we are having fun with thieving quests this episode, why don't we just go ahead and do some uh, larceny at the Hall of Wonders. Try to keep up. It's night time, so it's a good time to do so. So, yeah. I will see you at the Hall of Wonders. And here we are at the Hall of Wonders. Now, because I modded the game, you won't see her here. But, in the original version of the game, Alora is actually here. She's a halfling thief, and she's honestly one of the better ones in the game. Better than even Imowen. Largely due to the fact that, well, she's a halfling, and halflings get tons of stealth bonuses. And she's also got... She's also tied with Vaconia for the highest dex in the game. Between that and halflings having an affinity for using slings and getting a bonus with them, she's a pretty cool cat to have. The only thing I don't like about Alora is her incredibly bubbly demeanor, which great to my nerves, and her incredibly bad strength score, which makes her a terrible choice for a mule. Okay, so here we are inside the All of Wonders at nighttime. Try I don't know why it's up. even open. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so you can't... Yeah, you can, you can just check this place out at nighttime, because, you know, nobody's gonna steal anything. <laughs> right? Let's see, this isn't the... 
Yeah, and everything's locked, just so you know. Um, and in this uh, area, had Alora been here, she would ask for your help in a quest. And I think if you, you know, refuse or give her a snarky answer, she'll call for the guards. So, <laughs> yeah. Aside from that, she's a she's a good egg. Um, in this modified version of the game, she's actually in uh, Gully King. Hello. Nice to make the acquaintance of such a cultured person. Oh, it's Fourth L August. Hi. Hey, Alan, well met. I take your adventuring tour. I could tell the moment I saw you. You do not have the manicured hands of the bops we used to get through here. Uh, what do you want from me? Well, I'll tell you that I'm a bard and soon to be great bard. Wow, how nice. So am I. All I really need is some good material for a song or two, and I'll be playing the big rooms. Seeing as how the masses always like Tales of Daring Do, I need to purchase a few details off you. I can always make something up, but such things are very true. Are you interested? A lot of bards travel and learn. Why don't you go out and find your own stories? Uh, for the right price, I might consider it. A reasonable request. What if I paid you 200 gold for each idea? Hmm... A lot of bars around the neck. Okay, let's try this one. Why? Because it's dangerous out there. <laughs> really? Okay. I became a bard for the easy work and prestige among certain female members of my social. <laughs> God. Oh, great. Yeah, we all know what those bards are like, right? I want to seduce everything that moves. Okay. Uh, not because I wanted to chase vermin down dungeon holes. Do you wish to help me or not? Dude, come on, man. Chasing monsters down dungeon holes is what totally gets you with the women. All right, fine. What type of thing? I don't know. Something dashing and dangerous. Something make the ladies go, my hero. Oh, I'm gonna scream. All right, let's see what we have here. <laughs> Dialogue quests are so much fun. Let's see. I have a grand piece about the Iron Throne. It would seem that they are in the midst of a plot to weaken the entire region to increase their power base and possibly to allow for the invasion of Om. They don't seem to be totally. In control of that crisis at this point, and has allowed me to come close to destroying them once and for all. I, I don't know. I guess. It sounds a bit more political for my taste. I faced all manner of beasts and bandits in my travels and come near death more times than I can count. Would you like to hear the feral viciousness of gibberlings or perhaps of the cunning of the common count? Oh, fuck you. I could relate how I have seen good people struck down unjustly or the strength of character of the common farmer. Perhaps an ode to conv uh, of a convention to convention. Cleric or how good people fight for what is right in the face of incredible odds. The frenzy lust in uh, Let's try this one. Hmm. Tales of Conviction of Supreme Spirit. I have no clue what to start with telling a tale about that. If I were an inspiration for Georgie, I understand. As is, I'm sure someone else's fault. I don't think it'll be much use to me after all. Oh, what? Oh, fuck you! Dude, come on! I've got a reputation of 17. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. Screw it. He's a lost cause. Alright. Piece of shit. I'm a bard anyway. I don't need his help. <laughs> I think this is the, actually the back door. Oh, yes, it is. That's oh, great. Oh, hell. How do I get it? Okay. It shall be even than you it's the weirdest hope. looking back door to the museum I've ever seen. Even than you hope. In any case, it looks like the telescope is in the other room. So, we're going to need to... I think it's actually in here. Let's see here. Okay. Oh my goodness, we can actually get a lot more than just a telescope in here if we're lucky. <laughs> Who knows? Great peril yields Let's see great here. Beauty. Lucky there. Ah ha ha! The telescope! Alright. Let's see how much luckier I can get. Okay. Nothing. Really? Are you serious? Why does a glass case in a museum have nothing in it? And look! Another rogue stone! Ho 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 ho! That's gonna be a pricey one. And a star sapphire. Nice. That'll that's pretty pretty. And nothing in here. What the hell? What is with people putting nothing in there? It shall be oh. even bloodier than you hoped. She must she I I'm I don't know. It's either empty for the sake of being empty, or maybe they're maybe maybe this game has like its own version of the constitution that they can't have out in the open. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm going to go back to the Elf Song Tavern and let that halfling know that his... The telescope is all his now. Uh, halfling? No, it was a gnome. Yeah, gnomes like machines. <clears throat> Something like that. I'll see you guys in a bit. 
Okay, I'm back at the Elf Song Tavern. Yeah. And let's see what he has to say. If you say so. Hello again, my roguish compatriot. I hear this morning that there's a mysterious break in. It's not morning. That was like a minute ago. What is wrong with you people? Ah, uh, this game has terrible pacing in case you haven't noticed. Anyway, uh, there's a mysterious break in at the Hall of Wonders. It said that the crafty burglars were in like ghosts and gone before the guards even had the chance to yell halt. Ooh, it's like an adventure tale starring you and me. You are well worth your pay, my friends. Well worth it. If you're here to 500 gold and a beautiful little trinket from your own collection, yada yada yada. My goodness, you know, I just got to think if that bard would have just. If I would have run into that bard later, maybe I could have told him about the grand heist. I don't know. Yeah, goodbye, blah, 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 blah. We get a lot of experience. 1100 per person. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, with all that taken care of, I don't know about you, but I think my compatriots have earned themselves a nice little rest. And honestly, for the record, so have I. And also, look, a wand of lightning. And because I modded lightning so that it wouldn't be a piece of crap to me, I might actually get some use out of this. Hooray. Uh, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to go ahead and hold my hat here. Or hang my hat here, I should say. Uh, next time, we'll do more things in the city and maybe, maybe get back in the main plot. We'll see. <laughs> but in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, take care of yourselves and farewell.